Exploring cities can be just as fun as beautiful scenery in national parks, but for small town folks like us, cities tend to have more choices than we can handle. So when we need help with where to eat, we follow the Guy Guide. You know, Guy from Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives. He never leads us astray. So for Corey's birthday visit with Courtney, we ate well. These two always have so much fun together, so make sure you watch to the end for a good little chuckle and join us on our Triple D tour of Atlanta, Georgia. Well, we're here in Atlanta having a family weekend together because it's Corey's birthday. And it's a week. Okay. <laughs> And we are going to another Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives location that Guy recommended. What's it called again? The Wrecking, Wrecking Bar, Bar Brew Pub. Pub. <laughs> and that's where we're going to kick the week off. Okay. And what, do you, what did he say we should have? Uh, corn dog sausage things. They look like phenomenal. Really, really good. good. It did look really good. So we're going to give it a go. Take you with us. Let's, Let's go, go eat. In. Since we're at a brewery, I got a mule that is made with their own ginger beer and a jalapeno vodka. So, what did you get? I got a beer. I got a bourbon barrel aged hammer of the gods to try. Happy birthday! How are they? Really good. That's actually interesting. It's very yummy. One try. Give it a try. What Don't did you think? Oh, it's good. Actually. It is good. I want yeah. Some. It's kind of a. It's oh, kind of. It like is. Syrupy. Yeah. It's different. No. Nope. <laughs> I like it. I wouldn't want to drink a huge cup. Yeah, I wouldn't of want much, but this will be good. Yeah. I'll stick to my mules. What are those? Well, they're corn pops. pops. How is it? Mm, so good. That is good. Yeah, try it. So we had the corn pups. It's a pork sausage and cornbread. Really good. Uh, good sauce. We're just deciding. I think I'm going to order another three because one each wasn't quite enough. This was a guy who recommended item on the menu and it, uh, yeah, he didn't go wrong. Pastrami sandwich recommended by the uh, server. So we're going to give it a go. How's yours? It's definitely got a kick. I got the beef pie. Not recommended by Guy, but it sounded pretty good. It was the special, so I thought I'd go with it. I'm worried that it's really hot. Don't worry yourself. It's got a unique flavor to it, a really good one. I'm not sure exactly what it is. It almost seems like beer. It almost seems like what? Beer. Well, it's part of the brewery. That's actually pretty good. It is very good. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Two. How did you know? <laughs> this is the not cream brulee, but similar. So that was just like the appy of my birthday. Thanks, Cor. I'm so glad you have an American visa now. Happy Thanks. birthday. Thanks. This is a birthday that keeps on giving. Follow me, I know the way. Atlanta, we're at another guy recommended from Triple D's restaurant. This is a breakfast location. It's a silver skillet. Um, so we're here for a southern breakfast. Um, today I'm gonna have 
the waffles and chicken. I've never had that before. What are you going to have? I'm going for the full Southern experience and getting the chicken fried steak uh, with gravy, grits, and biscuits. So that should be interesting. Has anybody ever had crops before? I had a brief negative experience, but I'm trying again. I'm going to give it another go at this authentic restaurant. Maybe it'll be better. Excited to get at those grits? Absolutely. <laughs> Honestly, not a combination I would have even thought of. <laughs> but it's popular here and I'm going to give it a go. I'm really not sure if you put the gravy or the syrup on everything or on the waffle and then put the chicken on top, but I'm just going to give it a go here. Mm. It's actually pretty good. It's actually very good. Now that you've had a chance to have a few bites, how are the grits? They're not too bad. They uh, aren't my favorite texture, but definitely much better than I remember. That seems to be going down pretty good. It's actually, actually very good. I would have this again for sure. I think everybody here would. Well, we're done at the Silver Skillet, and I have to say, of all the places that we've ate in the South, mm -hmm. this one killed it. It was, I now know what the big deal about fried chicken is. The chicken and waffles was like, actually really, really good. The chicken was awesome. I don't think I've ever had chicken that good, and it was for breakfast with mm. a waffle and syrup. <laughs> it was It was everything that I guess everybody rants about. Mm -hmm. I think it was one of my favorite Triple D recommendations. I as think well. it was. You yeah, know, and to, yeah. when we drove up, we we're like, mm, I don't know. You go inside, and it's this service authentic was good. diner. Yeah. yeah, service was good. And yeah. the food was supreme. It was. Mm -hmm. Yay, guy! Thanks for the advice. We're here at another stop on our Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives tour in Atlanta, Georgia and we're at the uh, Highlander. Oh, home of great food and uh, pinball, so we're going to check that out. And it is close to the Beltline bike trail, so you could easily get here by bike. Yeah, we tried to the other day, but we got blocked off and didn't realize we were this close to a Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives had location. no idea. Okay, follow me. I know the way. Definitely funny. We found Iron Maiden and Batman. Take your pleasure. Maybe we'll get a bite to eat and then we'll give this a go. This looks good. Yeah, this is another one of Guy's choices. These are the um, pasta mozza sticks. So let's have a taste. <laughs> Cheesy. Pretty good. Tastes like lasagna. Mm. For a cheese stick, that is very good. Is there a chili? Curried goat. Mother clucker. All right. Mother please. clucker. Who's that? 
Okay, we finished <laughs> eating at the Highlander, and um, Guy was right. It is a... Uh, it's a third D and triple D. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? The people were super, yeah, they super were nice. nice. And it's just one of those places where you got to go and check it out. And the featured items were good. Um, the other items we had... Yeah. Not so much. <laughs> um, yeah. Pinball was fun. It was just fun <laughs> to go in there and hang out and yeah. play and... I yeah. don't remember who got the highest score. Do either of you remember? I know that sometimes you have to compensate when it's other people's birthday. I agree. Oh, is that what we did? Yeah, no, we definitely did. <laughs> Anyways, check it out. It was fun. All right, well, Jimmy Johnson there is drinking milk out his shoe because he got first in this car. <laughs> Kudos to him for getting the big boot trophy this time. <laughs> that is real nice, real nice. I love watching them things go around that round track around and over and over again. It's really <laughs> riveting if you ask me. All right, John, back to you. <laughs>